how to connect a monitor to a laptop? The answer to this question is often sought on YouTube, and here it is. You just need the right cable. There's another option I'll mention later, but the cable is the best choice. The connection will be more stable and faster. Please take a moment to check your monitor. Can you identify what ports it has available? The most widely used video standard today is HDMI, which is available in various types, including mini and micro versions. The latest and most advanced option for video cables is USB Type-C, which features an SS label, or alternatively a similar Thunderbolt connector that is marked with a recognizable lightning symbol. Older monitors typically use cables that look like these. Determine the specific ports available on your monitor. Now you need to perform the same connection process for your laptop. If both devices have the same port type, such as HDMI, you simply need to connect them using an appropriate cable. I'll show you my detailed example. I have this versatile portable screen that can easily be mounted on a wall or conveniently taken with you wherever you go. There are two connection options. The first is PD-USB, which is USB power delivery for power delivery. It can be connected to a USB Type-C that supports normal power to be delivered to the monitor or to a Thunderbolt port. That's the type of port I have on my laptop, making it convenient for connecting to the monitor. Everything connects with just one cable. The second option for this monitor is HDMI Mini, but since this monitor is portable, it doesn't connect to a power outlet. If using HDMI, you need to provide additional power through a USB cable. This option is not as convenient as the first, it requires two cables. When you connect the cable, the laptop screen will flicker and the monitor will connect automatically. To set up the display on the second monitor, go to display settings by right clicking on the desktop, select display settings, choose the second screen and set the option that suits you best. One option available is to use duplicate screens, which will display the exact same image on both connected monitors. Another option available is Extend, which allows you to seamlessly move the mouse cursor from one screen to another, creating a more fluid workspace experience. You can also choose to use only one of the available screens. On this settings page, you can easily set the screen resolution and scaling options for each individual monitor connected to your system. Select the display settings that best suit your needs and you can swiftly access the display output settings by pressing the Windows key plus P or by using a designated shortcut available on your laptop. What should you do if your monitor and laptop have different types of ports available? Look for a suitable adapter either in a local store or online on the internet. There are numerous different types of tools available to convert files from one format to another efficiently. You can also utilize a wireless connection which, while it may not be as reliable or fast as a traditional cable, effectively eliminates the need for cumbersome wires. Today, the Windows operating system includes a convenient feature for casting to a TV. If your monitor or TV, which you are using as a monitor, supports casting, go to Bluetooth and Devices settings, click Add the device next to the Devices line, then select Wireless Display or Dock. In the list of devices, if your display supports this specific wireless connection, your device will appear here accordingly. But be careful not to mistakenly add a neighbor's device or any other unauthorized device. In any case, when you click the Add Device option, your monitor or TV will display a message indicating that someone is attempting to add this device for screen sharing or display purposes. If desired, the owner can choose to disable this feature. If not, the device seamlessly connects and transmits the picture to the second screen through a cable or Wi-Fi, just like it would when using a monitor. Here at the bottom in Windows, the connection of this second device is displayed and you can configure it. That's essentially all you really need to understand thoroughly. Utilize it to create a more comfortable and efficient workspace for yourself. Also, check out other useful tips on our channel.